What's your biggest fear here? They try and save money, so your biggest fear is that, that you're gonna overspend a little on this project. That's great, man. You know, let me tell you a little bit about insurance. I've been doing this for 10 years. Insurance companies don't pay that much. I mean, they wanna pay for the bare minimum. Thank God that you got it approved. I mean, consider it a blessing and a, a total win that you got it approved. Most guys don't do that, man. Let's run the worst case scenario. Your biggest fear is you take this insurance funds, you pay someone to do it because you're shopping just based off the price and you wanna save some money. They screw it up and then you have the choice to either redo it, pay for it all out of your own pocket, or they run away with the check and then your insurance company calls you and say, hey, we're gonna drop you because you guys don't have a roof on or you didn't do it correctly. I mean, what are you gonna say then? That's your worst fear. Or you're also your worst fear is you choose a cheaper guy, he falls off the roof, you wanna save a buck, you wanna be penny wise and dollar foolish, and he falls off the roof, doesn't have the right insurance, and they sue your homeowners, and then now you're looking at a lawsuit. I mean, I see this every day, there's a reason why we're at the place we are. Like I said, I've sharpened it down to a nub on my pencil. At the end of this, I'm not gonna get rich off your job. Like, there's not that much money in this. Like, after I'm done paying Uncle Sam, my overhead and my employees and the supplier, you know, I barely have enough chow to put in the puppy bowl. So, you know, I'd, I'd be lucky to feed my dog today. The difference between me doing this job and getting it is the difference between me, you know, eating or eating Taco Bell.